So you want to know why you should study computer networks. If I study the subject, will I make lot of money? Maybe there are definitely some people who have made tons of money by doing startups in this area. Will it help me achieve Nirvana? This is rather doubtful, but who knows? Maybe you'll uh, discover something in the process. But two things are true. One, you can definitely get a good paying job if you're good in the subject. There are a lot of job opportunities. Even if you decide not to make a career choice out of it, you can still earn brownie points from friends and family. Imagine your boyfriend or a girlfriend having some problems connecting to the internet. You come, you fix it, and they'll think they have landed a genius. As you will see shortly, our whole lives revolve around computer networks. And if there is so much dependence on them, it is useful to understand how these things work. So before we do that, here is a question for you. So if you're anything like me, brushing isn't the first thing you did in the morning, right? It's amazing how much our lives depend on computer networks. Just to emphasize this point, here is a sample day in my life. So as soon as I wake up, even before I brush my teeth, I check my email. And then when I'm having breakfast, I tend to browse the web mainly to check out the news sites. And I tend to connect with my friends through social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter. During the day, I do more web browsing. Basically, I search, make use of Google search extensively, download research papers to study. I also tend to video conference with my students or colleagues who are long distance through Skype, um, an application you may have already heard about. And once I get back home, I need some entertainment. So YouTube to the rescue. And if I'm in the mood for it, I do some online shopping. And before retiring to bed, well, at least I used to do this a lot. I used to play online games, but I don't do this anymore. So as you can see, I'm highly dependent on computer networks. In fact, it's to the point of addiction. If someone were to revoke my computer network access, I think I'll have withdrawal symptoms. And I'm quite positive that you are not that different from me. So we all make extensive use of computer networks and all this is on the personal side. There is a business side as well. Many companies make extensive use of computer networks. This is typically in the form of making data or programs or equipment available to users irrespective of physical location. So the data is in the form of customer employee records or the inventory the company has uh, or in the form of financial statements. Programs could be either security software or some custom software that, that specific company uses. And equipment could be printers or scanners. You don't want to buy one printer per user. You just buy a few, which is to be shared among all the users. And it really doesn't matter where the employee is, be it California or Mumbai, he can still access the data. And there are certain companies, e-commerce companies like Amazon, eBay or Flipkart, which wouldn't even be in existence if not for computer networks. So as you can see on the business side as well, we make extensive use of computer networks. There are some other areas which you typically don't encounter uh, either because uh, they are kind of out of the ordinary or kind of futuristic that also make use of computer networks. So there is sensor networks, near field communication, interplanetary internet. I will leave this part as homework for you to read up upon. Nothing makes a point better than statistics. So let me share some statistics to show the impact of computer networks. So as of 2010, uh, this is when the statistics were col collected, there were about 2 billion internet users. And I don't even think you can make a guess of the number of emails that are sent per day. I don't think you even came close. It's 294 billion emails are being sent per day. I mean, such a huge number. And 
there are 255 million websites there are 2 billion videos watched per day at youtube i don't know what people are doing watching videos all the time um, and there are 600 million facebook users and this is a very recently it came in the news that youtube has 1 billion uh, users that is 15 percent of the earth population all mind boggling numbers and by the way all this data was taken from this particular website and naturally to support this kind of user population you need plenty of jobs so you have jobs from network administrators technicians field engineers programmers research scientists and professors like me who teach this particular subject so there are plenty of jobs so what have we learned as part of this video so we live in an information age and we are all highly dependent on networks be it for personal use or for business use and when you're so dependent on something it is useful to understand how it works otherwise you tend to feel rather helpless and all i hope i have convinced you of the importance of this topic